In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this hero section in Webflow in just a few minutes. And I'm gonna do this by using an uncommon component from the Reloom library. Now this hero section will create that spark of delight, that wow factor, that is the intent of the uncommon component. So I'm really excited to show you a design I came up with for this section and for us to build it. So let's jump in. Okay, so I have cloned the Reloom library style guide and I have a fresh Webflow project ready to go. I've also exported all the assets for this design. I have the design in Figma here ready to go also that I'll be referring to. Great, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to the dashboard, click browse components, click hero header sections, and I'm going to use the uncommon filter to find the component. And here it is. I'm going to copy header 76 to my clipboard and then I'm going to paste it inside of the main wrapper. Okay, the first thing that I'll do is I'll just copy and paste the content over from the Figma file. And then I will remove this button, which I don't need. And now it's time to add in the content. What you wanna do is you want to open the content right div then you wanna open the images layout div. Basically the images layout div provides the gap between uh, image list on the left and the image list on the right. Um, it's basically, um, if you do wanna increase the gap, you can do so by doing that. But let's keep it at one rem for now. Now, why have we split it up into two different divs? It's to achieve the effect of this uh, masonry grid sort of vibe. So. The way that this animation works is that the trigger is actually um, on the section component, um, but what happens is that there is a trigger for the image list on the left and a trigger for the image list on the right. And now what happens with this animation is that uh, the image list on the left moves 50% of the way um, vertically upwards and then loops and reset, resets. So what we actually have inside of the image list wrapper on the left and the right is a duplicate of an image list. So this will make more sense once we actually start adding in the content, but essentially this list, image list wrapper div is uh, a duplicate. So basically once we've created this first one, we can just delete the second one and copy and paste the first one again. So I'll take you through how I do that. First of all, I'm just going to now add in the images that I need. I already have imported them into Webflow so I can select the image and add them all in. Okay, so there are three images, but actually I'm going to need an extra image in this list. So I'm just gonna copy and paste uh, an extra image and I'll do that by copying this div and then pressing paste uh, and then I'll replace this image here. Great, okay, so now I have this image list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one, copy this one again and paste it again. So again, it's the duplicate. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the image list on the right. Okay, I'm going to duplicate to add that extra image. I've realized I need to swap this one out for this and then make this, we'll keep that one as is. Okay. And then lastly, delete this one and duplicate this one. Great, that's looking good. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Now, if I wish to speed up the animation, I can go to the section header 76 Div where basically the trigger is and I can edit the image on the left loop and the image on the right loop separately. Um, so I'll click into this and I'll click this right here. And if I wish to speed it up, I can make the duration shorter. And if I wish to slow it down, I can make the duration longer. So I'm gonna add 50 seconds to this and I'm gonna do the same for the list on the right so that it is in sync. Cool and then now you can see it is a tad slower. Now, if I wish to add 
some more, I guess, padding between the images. I can do so by first clicking the image list and editing the grid. Let's say I do two pixels for the row. Uh, and then there is the image, images layout where I can edit to rem here so I can match, match it um, like this. All right, and now I'm going to style the rest of the component. So kick back, enjoy the beats and watch me build. And there you have it, the header component. Completely designed, didn't take me very long and fully mobile responsive as you can see here. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful and you would like to continue to improve your design and development workflow on Webflow, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to see more videos like this, you can visit the Realum University on our website. And if you would like to join a community of designers and developers using Webflow, you can join our Slack channel, it's free, and you can find it on our website in the footer and also on our socials. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy building.